everybody, it's Mara Allard of Wind, Water, and Wisdom, and it's Monday, so it's Mara's Musings. I'm going to pull an oracle card, and that oracle card is for whoever's watching this video, and it's the energy of the week. And so I was called to use the Dreamweavers Oracle by Colette Baron reed and our card this week is, Let Your Dreams Be Woven True. And that's really a beautiful card. It is a card reminding us not to push that we need to put in effort for our visions and our dreams, but that we're not alone. So this card is like thinking of your, it's like, let your dreams be woven true. Let dream it, inspire it, work, put effort towards it, but realize that you're never alone, that you're in partnership with the above, the universe, spirit, creation, whatever you want to call it. We are not alone. And also to Realize that even though there's lots of things we can't control, which we are seeing played out right now in the world, wherever you live in the uh, world, you're seeing some sorts of um, chaos um, or upsets. That's just the energy we're living in right now. Um, you're not in control, but you, um, your dreams matter. So if you dream for peace, if you dream for love, if you dream for kindness, you're actually weaving in into this energetic world we live in, that higher vibration. So we can send love. We can send kindness. We can send healing energetically by prayer, by intention. We can weave this into the electrical energy we have. And that vibration does help. Every little vibration helps to raise the overall vibration of the world. So when people ask me about energy, some of the most important things that I always say when you're working with energy in your own home is intent. What is the intent behind when you do feng shui? What is your intent behind everything? Our intentions are as, as important as just the effort itself. So if you wish for something to, if you like manifesting, if you wish to manifest something, you can, it's admirable to push, 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 and you may achieve that just through sheer determination, willpower, and brute force. You can also do it with collaboration of having intent, putting some effort towards it, and giving it up to the greater good to help assist you in bringing into your life what is meant to be for you. We can also want things that are not in our alignment. And that it will be very hard to have them bring into our world because we're just not here to have that in this lifetime. That's a belief I hold. So again, this is a week to weave your dreams. It's not a week of force. It is a week of a little effort, creativity, visualization, and believing that you are in partnership with something greater than yourself, no matter what you call that. That can be a bird. I don't care. But... We sometimes think that it's us alone, and it's never just us alone. We are in partnership. Have a great week. The energy this week, if you follow astrology, is a little intense. So stay grounded. Stay, get a lot of rest. Um, and try to just stay present with your own self. And if things get too loud, shut down. Remember, we have a choice. Shut down the distractions. Have a great week.